Everybody, we are back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a review on one of my favorite figures from the Marvel Legends line. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review, because today we're checking out Venom. Like the real deal Venom. This isn't that little scrawny, wimpy Venom that they have dropped out in the normal Legends box. This is the wide, wide Venom. This is the real deal. They did a restock finally at GameStop on this guy. He was originally... $29.99. I ended up cashing in a $15 coupon I had and got them for $15. Bucks. And I've been waiting for the restock on this one. So my GameStop got one of these and I bought it the day after it came in. They unpacked it on a Thursday night. I got this on a Friday. How amazing is that, right? Been looking for this figure for a long time, waiting on a restock. Did not want to pay $50 for it because I knew that it was a $30 figure. And I knew I could probably find it at some kind of a GameStop, especially during the COVID. A lot of weird stuff's going on with inventory. A lot of only online stuff is showing up at stores. So I was hoping for a restock. And thankfully, here it is. Man, in the plastic, in the vinyl itself. Let's check them out. Venom. And it looks like there's also a change in body down there as well. But it says on the back here, Venom. Eddie Brock takes vengeance on his skeptics as the all-consuming, spine-chilling symbiote Venom. Eddie Brock, oh, that's the Spanish version of that. <laughs> and here's the German version and the French. Okay. <laughs> and Italian at the end. Um, all right, cool. So let's see here. We got, let me grab my, my little cutter here. Cut. There we go. And then, you know me, I like to save my boxes and I like my boxes minty. So we do a little surgical position precision if we can and avoid any type of damage that would be ideal and yeah this is going to be like a funko we gotta we gotta pop it back to release that lip all right let's slide out the venom i also we got a special appearance today too because we're going to do a little scale comparison looks like we got some warnings there in regards to the parts that might break off that you could die from choking on there's the backdrop i was going to slide it out but it doesn't look like it comes out very easy we have the back Black Symbiote Spider-Man logo, or the Venom logo. So there you go. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. All right. So it looks like we have some kind of a chest plate with some Symbiote goo on it. Or no, this is a back plate. Well, like I said, this is not the scrawny Venom that they sold in stores, which is like half the size of this figure. I think that one was from the movie. This is Comic Venom. The one from the movie is kind of scrawny. I don't know why they made it so scrawny, but this is the one from the comic. Oh my God, that is freaking sweet. Look at that face, dude. Look at that face. Just wants to tear you apart. And this is the back part that I imagine snaps on like that. It's got that symbiote goo just dripping off them. Oh, man, freaking claws. Look at these claws. Damn. Venom is looking vicious. Back with a vengeance. So we got that articulation in the hand as well. Let's see if his wrist will bend. He does have some small articulation in the wrist. Forearm, same thing as usual, which you'd expect. Shoulder, same thing as well. Full rotation in that. Nice outward thrust on that as well. Kicks out real easy. We got that nice locking mechanism like the McFarlane Toys has. That's very nice as well. We got that ab bend, which is dope. To get some nice action poses. Look at that. That looks freaking sweet. And you got the thigh bend, so you could do some side kicks and whatnot, which is pretty cool. I like that articulation. Again, we got the knee with the knee with the knee pad, which is nice. I like how they do that little fill-in thing there. It makes it breaks the illusion that it's an actual figure, which is dope. Ankle, same thing on that. You can roll his ankles and you can get a nice you can get a nice squat stance in there in his leg, like he's kind of like jumping up. That's pretty dope. We could even get it where he's like stand, stepping up on something. Now, I did say there was going to be a special appearance today. This is a sick figure. This is a sick figure. Straight out the gate, this is a sick figure. I wish they had toys like this when I was a kid. Um, no joke. Like, the figures that we had were like little four and six inch figures. I mean, the 10 inch ones weren't like highly detailed. They were like very low detailed, very low in articulation in regards to like posability and whatnot. Half the time, you couldn't even get the figures to stand up. I mean, these figures have so much articulation on the Marvel Legends and like the Black Series figures and the McFarlane ones. They have so much articulation in them. Sometimes it's almost difficult to get them to stand as well just because there's so much uh, articulation in the regards to like you could have them in so many different positions and balance points in regards to like one arm forward, one arm back to counterbalance the figure. 
so that he stands just like that. You see how I kind of counter counterbalance them where you got the center point right down the center and then you have the arms splayed out to kind of weigh out the nice wide stance, stuff like that. Like I said, sometimes it's difficult. With the thinner figures, these bulky guys like, like Venom and like our guest appearance is going to be, um, these guys stand a little bit better, but you get guys like Thor and Iron Man who are the Marvel Legends guys who are a little bit slender in regards to their figures. Like Thor has this crazy cape which comes with his, which is pretty dope. Um, one of my favorite Marvel Legends figures is that, is that Thor and that Iron Man actually. Um, but neither here nor there. This is Venom. Again, paint app. They got a nice light air brushing of blue, which is the, the midnight moon and sky reflecting off of his suit and the symbiote slime. So that's pretty dope how they did that. You got the white squares on the hands, of course. Damn, look at that. That is pretty dope. So here is the guest appearance. We got Mr. Red Hulk. So I was going to do a little size comparison here and show you the Red Hulk. Now, again, Red Hulk, I believe, started as a Build-A-Figure. I'm not a Marvel Legends aficionado. And to my knowledge, this Venom was a build a figure as well. And these figures were both popular enough that they ended up releasing their own figures in this wide, in this wide package right here. Because again, the Marvel Legends figures normally are about the size of the logo Venom, and that's about it. So then there's like all this other area too as well. Now I ended up getting the um, other Hulk as well, the Gamerverse one, which is another wide package, just like the Red Hulk right here. But these two big beastie boys are about the same size. They're they're about the, just as bulky as each other is. I mean, the legs are a little bit slender on Venom versus the Red Hulk. He's just a bit more stocky. But the uh, the upper portions, the arms are very very similar. So they're about the same size on that. That's pretty dope. Like I said, I think this started out as a build a figure, and I know he did. Um, and I'm glad that they did this like this. You know what I'm saying? In the full figure like that. And this was a Target exclusive. This Red Hulk. And I believe this was either a GameStop one or I think I've only seen this at GameStop. So I don't want to say it's a GameStop exclusive and if not be, but if it isn't, let me know down in the comments below. But to, to my understanding, this is a GameStop exclusive as well, this Venom, because I've only seen this dropped on GameStop. I mean, it's been on eBay and everywhere else, but like the reseller sites. But in regards to like retailers, I think this is only dropped at GameStop. So yeah, F freaking sweet, sweet figure. It's going to be great to get some nice poses of Venom and Red Hulk just fighting each other for Instagram. If you want to see some of those photos, go check out my link in the description down on my Instagram profile. If you want to see some of the photos of things that are, I feature on this channel, also things that I don't feature on this channel, I feature on there. They might not be video worthy, but I definitely feature them on there, which is nice. So yeah, Marvel Legends Venom. Freaking sweet figure. Freaking sweet. You don't get any extra head sculpts or anything else like that. You don't need it. You don't need it. He comes with everything that he needs, stock as is. Um, Red Hulk has, I believe, a couple of fists that he, you can swap it out with, but that's that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, Red Hulk comes with everything you need too. But Marvel's Venom, wow, dude, this is a sick figure. Oh man, freaking gnarly. Why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of this Marvel Legends series, Venom? What do you think of these large, bulky boys? These are my favorite kind of Marvel Legends figures, the big, bulky figures. I don't like the little slender ones, don't really stand up right. They kind of like, you have to bend them in a way so that they balance. I mean, the big bulky boys. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of these figures. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So looking for that and have a great rest of your day.